I think we'll have to invest a little bit to do it. It's supposed to be the base camp for mountain bikers, no? So there's a toilet downstairs, there's probably a coffee shop. And then, you know, when you come here, there's some public land. There's a little public land here, there's some public land near the temple. So we're using the public spaces to try and connect. Yeah, we're very proud of it. That, uh, that That is uh, the lock. Yeah. Actually, we call it a uh, I mean, the Tibetan lock. Wanko so you pipe should say I'm the same but museum like well managed historical stop and go to the same line of stock you at this cost that I'm the same but bottom no BDC or lazy cost is a attract or new pony BC like penny is made ahead of saying about your museum like a modern toss the design for no stock you just go like a say one lady now let me uh, talk a little bit about this body from Padata project as I said that the bigger loss was the, the heritage values were a, a big loss. That is why we just no, we did not limit ourselves only to construct the houses, but how to conserve tangible as well as intangible houses, uh, intangible heritage uh, in the valley. And there are 52 settlements, and we can't do much. So we try, we picked uh, Bungamati as a, as a pilot to do it. And uh, that is why there are two questions we try to address under this project, how to rebuild the private buildings and how to build the economy of the people. And that is where we thought about tourism, a sustainable tourism. And then the, that came with sustainable tourism and green growth for heritage settlements. That is how this project was uh, formulated. You might already be aware that the sustainable tourism and green growth for heritage settlements of the Katundu Valley, Paria Sampara project funded under the European Union Switch Asia program, we aim to build back better Bugamati, to revive its economy and to improve livelihoods for people. And the idea of course is that this is pilot and this will then be replicated with the support of all of you, with the support of your municipalities that you really work. We also want to highlight that cultural heritage plays an important role in international relations and in development policies. So we believe that by reinforcing cooperation on cultural heritage, this is an important manifestation of cultural diversity. This needs to be protected. And this can also be the backbone of economic growth. And that was exactly the vision of this project here. Because we want to su support culture as an engine for sustainable social and economic development. As a party to the 2005 UNESCO Convention on the Protection and Promotion of the Diversity of Cultural Expressions, the European Union is committed to promote diversity of cultural expression. We want to promote culture and intercultural dialogue for peaceful intercommunity relations. And this reflects and promotes the European Union's fundamental values such as human rights, gender equality, democracy, freedom of expression and rule of law, as well as cultural and linguistic diversity. This is really what we stand for. This is the backbone of any sustainable uh, economic development and any long-lasting peace process. But we are very proud that we are looking after we are looking after the heritage uh, <laughs> reinstatement projects very, very nicely. If you go to Patan Darbar Square, most of the temples were reinstated. And the Bhimsian temple, that is going to finish very soon. 
the 10th settlement study report that um, uh, Mr. P.S. Joshi and his, his team did, the report was submitted to you. So if we can operate e-bosses in those 10 very old settlements, that will be of tremendous achievement. So in that case, I request Your Excellency, why not we work together?